Hi, it's Gabby here for you. Um, how are you doing? I hope you're okay. Just wanted to jump on today and do a little video about stress because it's something that I hear time and time again. Something that affects so many people in so many different ways. And something to a lesser or greater degree affects most of us at some point during our lives. So I'm somebody who suffered in the past with stress um, caused by different things. A lot of it was to do with stress at work. And it wasn't until a doctor explained to me how your body works when you're stressed that I understood why when you're stressed, it's really, really difficult to think clearly and to see your way out of a situation. And the reason for it is it's the way our bodies are designed. If you think about how we used to live thousands of years ago when we were living in caves, um, the body then, its main thing was to keep you safe. And so if you were stressed by a situation, something was chasing you, maybe an animal was chasing you, putting your life in danger, your body has got three sort of instinctive things that it does. It will either get you ready to fight, get you ready for flight, or get you ready to freeze. So the fight or flight and is very similar, really. So what it's saying is you need extra energy to run away or to fight this um, a threat that's coming towards you and so your brain will send all your energy to your limbs to your arms and legs so you can run away or you can fight if that's what you need to do the blood will literally come away from your head from your brain because you don't need to think about complex things you just need to get out there you need to run your blood and your energy as, as well will be diverted away from your digestive digestive system and so um your digestion is going to suffer if you're stressed um, all the other things that are going on in your body that we're not conscious of all the time, you know, your immune system, you know, your hormonal system, your reproductive system, all these systems are going on all the time without us thinking about them. But when we're in this fight or flight or freeze mode, our energy and our blood is diverted away from those things because they're not needed in that moment. In that moment of crisis, you don't need those things. And so that's fine if you've got a stressful situation that lasts for a short period of time. That makes sense. You get the stress, you deal with it, you run away or fight, whatever you need to do. And then you go back to your relaxed way of being where your blood will go back to your brain or your stomach or wherever else you need it to go. But what happens when we're stressed long time? What happens if you're like me and you've been bullied at work for a long period of time for months? This went on for me. What happens if you're living with a chronic illness and you're feeling stressed? What happens if you've got financial problems that have gone on a long time? All this constant, constant stress means constantly your body is in fight or flight mode and your body can't repair itself. Your body can't do what it would naturally do, which is just to heal you and to keep you safe and to keep you well. And so that's really, really important as part of any wellness program is to think about long term effects of stress and to find a way of dealing with it, okay? And that's easy to say, I know that, but you've got to find a way that works for you. And it's really struck me, I heard something the other day and it said, why do some people have the best ideas in the shower? And I thought, that's me, I do that all the time. I get in the shower and you just say a little dream world and then something will come to you, think something you didn't even know you were worrying about, the answer will come to you. And that's because you're totally relaxed generally when you get in the shower and you're just worried about, you know, what shower gel are you going to use that day? What shampoo are you going to use? So when you're in that totally relaxed situation, answers will come to your subconscious mind. Your brain can think, it can flourish, it can do, can be creative, it can do all those wonderful things that it simply can't do if you're stressed. So that really made me think, and it made me think, that state when you're in, when in the shower, when the, the ideas are coming to you, a totally stress-free stress situation, easy for me to say. You need to get into that state more often if you want ultimate health and well-being. So what can you do to help you? Now, one of the things that I do, and uh, it might sound a little bit crazy, I've, if you've heard of emotional freedom technique, tapping, and I've done this, uh, I've had it, you know, I've watched somebody doing it, I've watched some YouTube videos about it, and I'm gonna be doing a course so I can actually learn to do it myself and use it as a therapy that I can use with my clients to help them. And so I'll be doing some little videos about that because to me, EFT takes me to that place. It takes me to that stress-free place. Um, it, for you, it may be meditation. It could be exercise. It could be getting out into nature. There's so many things that you can do to get yourself into that state. 
but please 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 be aware of the long-term underlying damage that stress can do to you and do something about it we've all got choices if you need any help from me at all reach out to me i'm here to help you ping me a message drop me a line speak soon take care my love stay safe stay sane bye bye <laughs>